Hey everyone, um, not a great deal to say really beyond what's in the notes there on uh, currency futures, particularly bearing in mind that you don't need to do numbers or anything, just talk about them. However, in order to talk about them, I think you really need to understand them, don't you? And so therefore what I thought I would do is actually give you a numbers question, or go through a numbers question, which you won't have to do in the exam, but just to kind of explain what's going on so that you can actually talk about futures. So a US company will receive £250,000 from a UK customer. Okay, um, and the sterling US dollar futures are for 62500 Remember, that's a set amount. Okay, so therefore they sell four of them 250,000 divided by 62 and a half. So they, um, they sell four of them and the price is 1.98 to the pound. Okay, now remember what you're trying to do here, you're trying to hedge against any risks and so therefore they are setting themselves in. They are effectively fixing themselves in here at 1.98. Okay, um, this September, once September comes along and the company gets its 250,000 pounds um, and the spot rate is 1.96. Uh, and the settlement price for the futures will also then be 1.96. So, how does this all work out? Right. Well, by the time September comes, they will have made a gain because they agreed at 1.98, whereas the exchange rate actually fell to 1.96. So they've made a 5,000 gain on the futures. The revenue that they'll actually collect would be the £250,000 times the 1 point, uh, or divide by the 1.96, uh, well, no, times by 1.96 yet, to get to dollars, which will be $490,000, so 1.96 being the exchange rate at the time. So as a whole then, the US company have received 495. If they hadn't got into the future, could you see that they'd actually only be receiving 490? But because they got into the future, they have gained that 5,000. Of course, they could have made a loss, but they've gained 5,000. And I just thought I'd show you, look, 495,000 on 250,000 pounds is effectively 1.98, okay, which is what they got into the future. They sold the future in the first place. Okay, so that's how it works. You make a gain or a loss on the future and you add that or take it away from the revenue that you've got. But you're effectively fixing yourself in. Okay, in that case, they made a gain, but they could have made a loss.